endoscopically assisted suturectomy for anterior plagiocephaly. At birth, the skull is composed of separate skull bones that are connected with skull sutures. The sutures are the growing sites of the skull. When one of the coronal sutures is prematurely closed, no forward growth of the forehead can occur on that side. The other side of the forehead compensates by excessive growth towards the front. As a result, the frontal bone is asymmetric. This is called plagiocephaly. An endoscopically assisted suturectomy is a type of surgical procedure that can be used to treat plagiocephaly in children up to the age of six months. The goal of this procedure is to open up the suture that has closed too early to restore the growth potential of the skull. A skin incision is made in the affected side of the head. A piece of skull bone underneath the skin incision is removed. Then, a small tube with a camera, called an endoscope, is inserted between the skull bone and the dura. The dura is a layer of tissue that protects the brain. As the endoscope is advanced, the dura is detached from the inside skull bone, and the space in between can be inspected with the camera. Under direct vision of the endoscope camera, a piece of bone at the side of the skull is removed. This opens up the prematurely closed coronal suture, restoring the potential for frontal skull growth on the affected side. Then, the skin incision is closed. Approximately one to two weeks after surgery, children will start helmet molding therapy. This lasts several months and is used to help guide skull growth.